Hi, Tom Lydon here in Chicago at the Morningstar Conference with Karen Kerwin, Director of Investment Strategy at ProShares. Great seeing you, Karen. Hey, Tom. Great to be here. So there's a lot going on in the thematic space. Old line indexes, there's factor, multi-factor strategies, but we're getting a little bit more specialized. Walk through some of the strategies that you folks are really excited about today. Yeah, that's right, Tom. Um, so thematic or trend investing, as some people are terming it, yeah. is really a fascinating area in the ETF world for new product development. It's not a new concept, but certainly being able to access some of these long-term socioeconomic growth trends or growth factors, if you will, through a liquid, transparent, tradable ETF is a very useful tool. And, and really, it's, it's that idea about um, simple, intelligent, and uh, thoughtful uh, strategies that may not be available to advisors in traditional sector or geography-based or country-based ETFs yeah, before. Yeah, absolutely. So one, for example, and we're hearing the Trump administration talk a lot about infrastructure. You guys have an infrastructure ETF. That's right, we launched an infrastructure ETF, T-O-L-Z is the ticker, back in 2014. And if you think about the trajectory of infrastructure, really it's a, it's a dynamic story, right? We have habitually underinvested in infrastructure, in the infrastructure space for years now. So there is a tremendous need. Most of that infrastructure today is owned by governments, which probably are not in the best position to support that growth going forward. So the private sector, there are lots of companies that they're looking for capital to deploy in that space. Yeah. And it really, the investment characteristics of infrastructure companies are those that we like. Stable cash flows, less cyclical type of businesses, really makes for a great investment idea. Yeah, and talking about trends, we're seeing a huge trend in online buying versus big box. And you've got a strategy that handles that too. That's right, uh, O-N-L-N is our strategy in that space. The idea of online retailing is certainly not new, um, but I think what's surprising is this idea of the flip side of that, the big box stores, the traditional brick and mortar stores are struggling, right? Yeah. They're closing stores, bankruptcies, but this whole trend, again, is in the very, very early innings. If you look at the percentage of total sales, for example, that are online based, right now it's only somewhere between 10 to 12%. Yeah. We think that's going to go a lot higher going forward, and the way to do that is through a, a specific online based strategy. I, I agree. And finally, Karen, as a pet owner, if you have a cat or a dog, you've got to look at the pet care industry. You've got a special ETF that addresses that industry. That's right, Tom. We're very excited about PAWZ, our latest trend-based ETF. We launched it last year. Um, if you think about what's happening in the pet care space, more people than ever are owning pets, uh, number one. Um, it's a global phenomenon. It's not just a developed uh, country phenomenon. Um, we're treating these pets as members of our family. Absolutely. So lots of uh, services, premiumization of food, uh, insurance. If you think about the industry in total, right, it's about $132 billion industry now, growing towards north of $200 billion. We think that's where uh, investors should be, be, should be looking for those growth opportunities. Yeah, I could tell you where the priority is in my house. That's right. <laughs> Kieran, great seeing you. Okay, Tom. Thanks for coming. Thank you.